yes yes sir okay okay and uh, we were started to discuss the concept of issue with the terms of redemption accounting for issue of debenture with terms of redemption yes sir okay so these are the cases here issue at par redemption at par issue at par redemption at premium issue at premium redemption at par and uh, issue at premium redemption at premium issue at discount redemption at par and issue at discount redemption at premium so i have written uh, the profit or loss in each of the situation so uh, ritika used some of the classes so uh, please go to the videos of uh, those classes and then you will be able to understand these things okay and if you have any problem understanding those topics then ask the question in class or after the class also you can ask okay okay sir okay so here the first is issue at par and redemption at par in this case so in this case there is no profit no loss situation in this case there is no profit or loss at the time of issue or redemption okay the second is so these are the journal entry for the first cases when we uh, issue a our debenture we receive money first bank account debit to debenture application and allotment account and the second is transfer to uh, debenture account is there any network issue with you frame yeah sir it is from my side okay so uh, the second is debenture application and allotment account debit to debenture account so this Uh, all these cases, the six total cases here. So all these cases are done with the concept of lump sum payment. Okay, because if we go through the installment process, then there will be different entries. So we are discussing this this concept with lump sum payment method. Okay. Okay, sir. So that's why debenture application and allotment. But if you want to write debenture application. that is also fine there is no issue with that so case number 2 case number 2 is issue at par redemption at premium so issue at par and redemption at premium now can you tell me that is there any profit or loss in this situation for the company so this loss there is loss on issue or redemption mm -hmm. yes uh so it is profit it is profit yeah okay issue is at par so there is no profit at or loss yeah at the and redemption at premium but redemption at premium redemption loss. means we are giving money back yeah. to the more, more money so instead of 100 rupees let's say we are giving 105 rupees so this is loss for the company loss yes. Yes. loss yes 
So the first entry will be same again for money uh, application money received bank account debit to debenture application account. And the second entry will change. It will be debenture application account debit to debenture account to debenture account but there will be a loss on issue of debenture yes or no because uh, yes for the concept of conservatism i told you in previous class that we record uh, any expenses or loss which will be incurred in future in project if we expect that but we don't record any profit of future in project so ritika you aware with this concept the principle of conservatism yes sir do you remember it you don't remember yes sir okay uh, fahim yes sir do you remember the concept we have discussed this in our previous class uh yes sir okay uh, so, sir there are two methods right which two oh, oh no 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 that's that's different one that's uh a principle of conservatives right yes principle of conservatives yeah so you remember the concept or not uh yes sir i do but like i don't know how to define it okay okay so the principle of conservatism uh, says that if there is any uh, profit that will be incurred in future we will ignore it because that is future profit but if there is any expected expenses or loss in the future then we will record it right now because uh, we have to provide uh, for that expenses we have to save money for that expenses or loss thank you sir so that's the basis of creating any provision or reserves because why we create reserve can you tell me why reserves is created uh, this is not related with this concept why reserve is created i'm just asking why you save money so to use uh -huh. for future expenses unexpected expenses yes to meet future unexpected expenses but why don't we expense more money than we have uh, that we have for future income we can do that yes can you repeat it why uh, actually if we expect that uh, there is 1 lakh income will be incurred in future then we expense 1 lakh in present or not we do some expenses like for 1 lakh rupees in present or not for any future income not understood the concept let me write it here okay so the first thing i'm asking is there is a future expenses here future expenses of 1 lakh so we save money for this yes Yes, sir. And if there is any future 
income of 1 lakh. So in the same manner, uh, we save money for future expenses. So for future income, we should incur expenses of 1 lakh. Yes or no? In present. Mm -hmm. This is future and this is project. Now tell me. So we don't have to incur expenses. We don't have to incur expenses. Not necessary. So, yes, not necessary. And generally, we don't do any income like uh, this. Uh, let's say that we save money for our uh, children's education. Yes? Yes, sir. Child education. But why don't we uh, expense more money? More money because our uh, child will earn money in future. So why don't we uh, expense money equal to that income? So it is not assured how much we will get in the future. Yes, there is no surety of that. And if there is uh, some label of surety, then also we don't expense money equal to our future income because until income is received, we don't uh, do expenses. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So this is a simple concept which is applicable in accounting also. This is called principle of conservatism. Means we save money for future expenses, but if there is any future income that is going to arise in future, so we don't uh, consider that income. We ignore that income that when uh, it will be received, then we will think about it. Thank you, sir. So on the basis of this, Reserve is created, provision is created because all uh, reserve and provision is for future expenses. So, basis of these two items are conservatism. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, one more thing here. Uh, what What do you think? Entry is complete here. The entry number two. No, sir. Okay, so what is left here? To redemption on premium account credit. Why it is credited to premium on redemption? Yes, it will be written. Your answer is correct. But why it is on the credit side? Yes. Rest. Hello, Akirat. Good evening. Yes, Ritika. Sir, that I don't know. Fahim? Uh, sir, what was the question? The question is why premium on redemption is on the credit side. Premium on redemption because sir, the money is going out of the business, right? We are paying to the shareholders. Right now? Uh, no, for future. Because it is expense. Yes. Uh, expense for the company. Future expense. So that, is, that is recorded on the debit side. You can see loss on issue of venture. This is future expense. That's why it is recorded on the debit side. Yeah. So why premium on redemption is uh, okay. Uh, let me make it clear. It is a liability. This debenture is also liability. Yes or no? Yes, sir. That's why both of these two are on the credit side. The venture account uh, is a liability and when we have to pay the premium in future, so uh, it is liability at present. 
because we have to pay 105 rupees. So 100 is for debenture, 5 rupees is for premium. So both of them are liability. Okay, sir. Okay. So the case number third. Oh, okay. Let uh, please write it first. Then we will go to case number three. Done. Yes, sir. Mm, yes, sir. Okay, so now the next issue at premium and redemption at par. Now, is there any profit or loss? Is there any profit or loss in this case? Profit. Yes, there is a profit at the time of issue. So the first entry will be bank account debit to debenture application account. And the redemption is back at par, so there is no loss for the company. Deventure application account and the second entry we will pass is Deventure application account Deventure application account debit to to percent is Deventure and two security premium account. Now, can you tell me that why security premium is credited here? This is very simple. You have already studied this. So tell me why security premium is on the credit side. Ritika. Okay, so the answer is security premium is profit for the company. That's why it is on the credit side. But in the previous case, premium on redemption is liability for the company. That's why it is credited. So case number four, issue at premium. Issue at premium and redemption at premium. Now, so 
In this case, the first entry will be bank account debit. Bank account, uh, this is same. Uh, I'm not writing it. Same entry. Bank account debit to debenture. Application account. And the second entry will be debenture application account debit. Now, in this case, there is profit and loss both because each share is issued at premium, not share. Debenture is issued at premium and it is also going to be redeemed at premium. So profit at the time of issue and loss at the time of redemption. So debenture application account debit loss on issue of debenture account debit to debenture account to debenture account to security premium account to security premium account and the last one is to premium on redemption is this clear Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So please write this. Case number third, uh, you have written already? No? No, sir. Mm, I did, sir. Okay. So you should write case number four then. So you can scroll down. Okay, so now the case number five. 
we will complete all the cases today and solve a portion so that we will start a new topic in our next case. So case number five, issue at discount and redemption at par. Now there is loss at the time of issue. So the first entry will be same. You are not writing same entry in your notebook. You have to write the entry, okay? What have you written? The venture application account. debit now there is a discount on issue so discount on issue of discount on issue of debenture account debit to debenture account So this is case number five and let me complete case number six also because it is also related to discount. So issue at discount and redemption at premium. Now, can you tell me in this case, there is profit or loss? There is loss. what do you think? There is profit or loss? Um, uh, so this is a case four here. Case six. Case yeah, six. Yeah. This issue, issue at discount. Yes. It's loss, loss, loss. Yeah. Yes, uh, in both the cases, at the time of issue, there is loss. At the time of redemption, there is loss. So, yeah. the entry will be debenture application account debit. We have to record both the loss. Debenture application account debit to, oh, sorry, not to, loss on issue because there is premium or redemption. So it is recorded like this, loss on issue of debenture account. Debit and discount on issue of debenture. Discount on issue of debenture account debit to Deventure account and to premium on reduction. Premium on reduction. So this is our case number six. Now please write the case number five first and then the case number six. After that, we'll discuss a portion.
¿Eh? Okay, if you have completed, uh, let's see the question. Yes, sir. Fahim, Arkhidat. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, so this is our question. Here you can see the Question number 33. Uh, in this, there is five cases. Uh, in all other topic, all other question, there is only two to three cases. So question number 33, past journal entries in the following cases. A company limited issued 40,000 12% debenture at a premium of 5% redeemable at par. So this is issue at premium, redemption at par portion. Uh, second is a company limited issued 40,000 12% debenture at a discount of 10% redeemable at par. A company limited issued 40,000 12% debenture at par, redeemable at 10% premium. A company uh, limited issued 40,000 12% debenture at a discount of 5% redeemable at a 5% premium. A company limited issued 40,000 12% debenture at a premium of 10% redeemable at 110%. So let's take the first one. Today is portion number and solution. So, a company limited issued 40,000. Now, 40,000 is amount here, not number of debentures. It is amount and it is issued at 5% premium. Okay. So, 40,000 into 5%, it will be. 2000 so 42000 we have issued our debenture first case entry number first bank account debit to debenture application account debenture 
application amount. How much amount it will be? It will be 40,000 at 5% premium. So 42,000. Is this clear? Mm, yes, sir. Amount is given. That's why I have just added 5% premium. But in all other portion, like there is only amount given. Yes, here it is debenture. Number of debenture is given. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So in all the portion, there is only premium. So 40,000 into 5%, it is 42,000. The second entry in this case, uh, the narration will be bin application money received. Application money received in lump sum. Lump sum. Okay. Now the second entry will be debenture application account debit. Uh, to the debentures account. To and twelve percent debenture. Account. Yeah, twelve percent debentures account and then to security premium account. Yes, very good. To security premium account. So forty thousand will go to debenture uh, account. And, and two thousand. Two thousand. Uh, security premium. Yes. So forty two thousand. This is our first case. Okay. Now the second one. Second one is issued 40,000 12% debenture at a discount of 10%. So we will get only 36,000 bank account debit to debenture application account. Okay. So bank account debit to debenture application account. It will be 36,000, 36,000. And after that, we will transfer it to the debenture account. So debenture application account. Discount on issue. Discount on issue account debit. Is there anything else? Yes, redeemable at par. So there is no profit loss on redemption. So yes, that's it. Deventure application discount on issue to 12% deventure. So deventure is 40,000. It will be written always at their full amount, 40,000. The application we received is 36,000 and 4,000 is discount. So it will go to discount on issue of deventure account. So case number three, it is a company limited issued 40,000 12% debenture at par redeemable at 10% premium. So there is no profit loss on issue, but there is bank account debit to debenture application account debenture application account the amount is same 40,000 because there is issue at par so 40,000 but at the time of redemption debenture application account debit to uh, sorry not to, there is loss at the time of redemption. So we have to record that loss. Loss on issue of debenture. Account debit to 12 post and to Premium on redemption. 
premium on redemption account. So debenture application we received is 40,000 and 12% debenture is also 40,000. We have to redeem our debenture at 10% premium. So we have to give 4,000 premium. So that is our loss. Four. Is this clear? Yes, the case number four or portion number four in this is we issued our debenture at discount a redemption at premium. So again, it will be bank account debit to debenture application account. debenture application account and we have issued at 5% discount so we will receive 38,000 2,000 discount and the second entry can anyone tell me the second entry what it will be Hakira. Uh, yes, sir. What will be the second uh, entry? The dependent subligation account debited to the debenture account. That's it? Yes, I think. Okay, fine. Uh, said debenture application account uh, would be debited and yes. discount, uh, discount on the issue of debentures and then loss. On then the issue of debentures, uh, loss on issue of debentures, debit, and then uh, twelve percent debentures account would be credited, then to premium on redemption account. Yes, so there is five accounts in this Harkira, not only two. Okay, okay. I knew it's about uh, this confused. Deventure application account debit. There is discount at the time of issue for so discount on issue. Actually, you can combine the discount and loss both if you want. Okay. Loss on issue account debit to 12% deventure. Okay, fine. What will be the amount here? Uh, sir, debenture application would be 38,000 only. And then okay. uh, 2,000 was discount and 2,000 was the loss. Both account is 2,000, 38,000 yeah. discount. And, and then 2,000 loss. Okay, 2,000 loss. Loss and then uh, 40,000 would be 12% debentures account and then uh, 2,000 premium. Very good. On yes, this is correct answer. Case number five. Now, in this case, a company limited issued uh, debenture at premium of 10%, redeemable at so there is profit on issue and loss on redemption. Yes. So bank account debit to debenture application. And we are issuing our debenture at 10% premium. So it will be 44,000. 44,000. Now the second entry, uh, can you tell me Ritika? The debenture application account debit. Debenture application account debit. Loss on debenture account. Loss on issue of debenture account debit. Okay. To uh, twelve percent debenture account. To okay. To securities premium account and to premium of debenture account. Okay. So, what will be the amount of debenture application? That will be 44,000. 
and what will be the loss. Please show the question. Please. It is 10% premium. Uh, issued at 10% premium and redeemed at 10% premium. Um, okay. Not sure. So, will it be 4,000? The loss? Yes, sir. Yes. It will be 4,000. Then the next amount? 12% debentures will be uh, 40,000. Okay. Premium on redemption will be 4,000. Okay. And and um and securities premium will also be four thousand. You have calculated the balance here. Yes, sir. So uh, actually, it is written that ten percent premium. So forty thousand into ten percent, it is also four thousand. Your answer should be calculated like this. But yes, you can calculate the balance, and your answer is correct. But you should calculate by given percentage okay sir okay so tell me is there any actually this is very simple uh topic that issue with the terms of redemption but sometimes students confused about this so uh, this is very hard so uh, what do you think this is hard no sir Okay, so uh, you want to copy this or you will take the screenshot? Actually, you have to write very much here. So just take the screenshot and write it. Actually, don't copy it. Just take the screenshot and try to solve the question by yourself. And if uh, any problem happens, then see the screenshot then it will be good for you. Okay, so uh, actually, I'll take the screenshot first. Should I scroll down? Yes, sir. Fine, Harkirat. Yes, sir. This is engine number A, B. Then case number three here. Case number four. And then the last one, case number five. Okay, so this is your solution. Now, there is three questions in this Portion number 30, no, not three. This is four portion 32, 34, 35, and 36. Okay, so uh, you have to solve these portion and try some portion from your own book also. Okay, uh, is there any doubt in your previous class homework time? Uh, sir, I didn't solve the whole thing, but yeah, I solved three and three or four questions. These yeah, are the this 28, 29, 30. Okay, you have solved these portion? Yeah. And I'll solve this rest of them today. 
Okay. Is there any problem in these portions? No, no, sir. Okay. So uh, that's all for today. If you have any query, you can ask portions. Otherwise, let's end the class. Okay. Okay, sir. Do you, do you have any doubt? Anyone? No, no, sir.